Hello everybody. Uh, Leif here with my new hairdo. I'm working on my building here outside of the very first facility that Taylor Swift started to sing in for uh, professionally to uh, in front of an audience. I'm at uh, Pat Garrett's uh, roadside sheepskin stand gas station and uh, uh, the entrance to his amphitheater where Taylor, Sw Taylor Swift also performed some of her first performances in front of larger crowd, a larger, a larger sized crowds. Um, and actually, right here, she won, uh, she won her uh, a karaoke contest, which is where she is how she first um, appeared in front of an audience um, professionally. Aside from aside from doing things like singing national anthems and things like that, so right here is where it started um, with her winning a um, karaoke contest to play in front of Charlie Daniels band. Um, so, um, you know, one of the things I've learned in life and growing up and being in, being around people and, and, and um, getting involved in relationships with people and, and all things like that is, is that um, a lot of times uh, there's this, there's, a, there's, this uh, there's this slight notion of jealousies and and keeping keeping your mind on your own business and not worrying about other people is what how I've been taught. And for the most part, I, I believe I believe that's true. That's what you should do is, is worry about yourself, not worry about what other people are doing necessarily. However, when you get into the business world and when you um, get into politics, you do have to keep an eye on your competition and you have to keep an eye on politics. You can't be afraid to to go on the offensive um, and. Uh, no one to hold them, no one to fold them, and no one to walk away. So, um, this is a case here. I'm traveling around where, where we do neither. We, we do not fold them, we do not hold them, and we do not walk away. Um, we especially don't walk away when there's no one guarding the enemy tur turf. You take it. So, which leads me to this conversation I want to have really briefly. Um, the Swifties are always talking about this person named Joe. Um, and I have no problem talking about this person. Um, I, have no, I have nothing against this person. I don't know really anything about this person. There's a couple of things I do know about this person because he said these things. And I just want to kind of put it into con contrast and kind of give you a, something to think about. Especially, I'm talking about the Swifties here. So this person, Joe, is, the media continually likes to talk about him. Now, now Joe has a bunch of money, probably, in, in England. He's an English man, I think. And, um... So he's not an American. Okay. I think Joe's got a bunch of money, okay? Okay? Joe said recently that he that he wanted he wanted to be a spy. Okay. He said that eight months ago. This tile I made. This tile I carved back in December. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. August. Eight months ago, I carved this tile. This is my 007 tile, I called it. James Bond kind of style, but my own kind of partnership. At the time, I was painting pictures of Taylor Swift daily
<clears throat> I'm here right now in what in what should be a shrine to this to the swift to the Swifties. For whatever reason, Taylor Swift is not here right now. Um, forming friendships and partnerships with the owner of this, and that's okay. I've talked to him. He's very proud that she performed here first. It's quite obvious. I also know what it's like to be swept up and drawn into something like her stardom and how you have to go with that. And I can understand how people back in your home town and in the area where you grew up can be a little bit narcissistic to how you have to be away. So that's why there's someone like me that comes around who understands this and uh, isn't afraid of that. And I, you know, I, at first I can be like a middleman and then I can become more like family. So I'm an artist, I'm an American. I bought a building in Norway, a very historic building. A lot of money that I that I made being an artist, not not money that I inherited. But I, but I, but my family has a rich history of philanthropy, yeah, which is giving money away to special interest groups, to causes, to colleges, to universities, to uh, anything that might uh, publicly usually oriented organizations that, that could use monetary help. I've liked Taylor Swift since she's hit the airwaves. One of the very first songs, if not the first song that I ever posted on YouTube was of Taylor Swift back in 2008. I've been posting I've been posting music videos nonstop of Taylor Swift. I mean nonstop since 2014. I think, and this, this message goes to the Swifties. I think I think the Swifties, uh, um, as much as they really, as, as much as we all really support the huge, what, what Taylor Swift means to women and women's rights and what women are capable of doing. And, um, I, even if that's even a question to talk about anymore, I'm not, I, I even question that. But having grown up in a household where you're, where you're uh, kind of a post a post kind of hippie household however my parents weren't like the dirty hippies that are made fun of my parents were like hard working people from the 60s that and 70s that were artists that that had successful business doing artwork making pottery in northern michigan in one of the most beautiful places in the country good morning america called uh the area where i live the most beautiful the most beautiful place in america i think in 2008 no, maybe it was 2012. I went to one of the most prestigious Christian colleges in the United States, Hope College in Holland, Michigan. Graduated there with honors. I was a college basketball player. I was a Boy Scout, National Honor Society, all state athletics for the state of Michigan. international artist so so when the Swifties continue to continually talk about this person named Joe um, I believe that there's been no one like me to counter them to set the record straight and to, and to help them to help guide them into the direction they should be thinking of because I really feel like if you if, if the Swifties truly want to want the best for Taylor Swift they need to think about me because about Leif Spork because first of all is it about money is that what this is about is it about power is that is that what the women's rights movement was about was it was the women was the women women's rights movements and the, all the equality that's still being fought for was all of that 
just just so women could get money and power and money and therefore power and and just 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 something to think about just because you marry someone with money and who's powerful does that mean you're going to become more rich more famous more powerful or does that possibly mean that there's more minefields to cross in the future that are much more dangerous when it comes to what it is you've created Is your success dependent on someone else who's powerful? Because if, you're, because if your success is not dependent on someone else who is powerful, not only should you seek out your own success without having to get involved with someone else who You know, who, who isn't, who, is, who seems to be a far cry from necessarily what it is that you're doing. I wonder, I just wonder what the best thing is. Um, how do I make that you guys come to like me? Is it, is it, is it to do, is it, is it to not do what it is you're asking me to do? Like cutting my hair, dyeing my hair, all the things that you've asked me to do. I haven't seen Joe do any of those things. So am I so am I am I not even being taken seriously? Are you just are you just trying to make a joke out of me? So which 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 if, which, if that's what you're trying to do, then what you're suggesting is maybe the women's rights movement wasn't wasn't even necessary. Maybe it should never even have happened. Because why would you be trying to make a joke out of me? I, I'm, I'm, I'm from the earth. I'm a good man. Do you not think there are good men left in the United States? Because, because I'm a good man. And I also own a building in Norway. So, whether Joe really wanted to be a spy, or if he saw me making this, and if he's only a rea you know if, if, he's, if, he's, if this is how he reacts to things by saying he wants to be a spy when I'm when I'm when I'm the one creating the artwork when I'm the one thinking it before he does when I'm in Taylor Swift's hometown mending fences shaking hands discovering discovering what the Swifties should have discovered a long time ago this this should be a shrine to Taylor Swift. I'm, 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 I'm demonstrating my knowledge, my strength, my ability to be a chameleon, to adapt. In working, in working man's clothes, in Taylor Swift's clothes, in her hair dye, without hair, with hair, with a cat, without a cat, with the police, without the police, on the streets, not in the tweets. When, when do I get recognized? You can, search my, you can search my Facebook page. Look at how far back I've been supporting Taylor Swift. I'm an American. My back is full of her tattoos, of all of her songs. Bells, 13. Butterflies, 13. Lyrics from Faith Hill that she likes. MTV Music Video Awards from my generation. When, when it was most popular. When MTV was established from my generation. Her birthday. We all know that Taylor Swift liked tattoos. Is it the challenge? Is it, is it the challenge to get Joe? Is it the challenge to get something? Is that what you're after? 
or should it be or should it be that I'm the avalanche that you should recognize in terms of who's here on the streets bringing it to everybody and showing you what's important about to, to know about me and uh, versus this person named Joe who's not even been here so shouldn't the challenge be the future of, of Taylor Swift and not whether or not we get you get Joe or not and here I am and you guys can take me and then you can figure out how to make Taylor Swift even more powerful you don't need anything else it's, it's so clear and obvious this is the United States of America the reasons why I was in Norway had nothing to do with why Taylor Swift is interested in Joe or was interested in Joe this is the United States of America I'm a single man. I've never had any kids. I'm a very successful artist. My name is Leif Sport.